Kira, welcome to Movies That Made Me. Thank you very much. So let's begin with, as you're probably expecting, Star Wars. Senator Palpatine will need your help. Either choice presents great danger to us all. We are brave, Your Highness. What does it feel like to fall off a golf cart in front of Ewan McGregor? One of the truly most embarrassing experiences of my life. And what's interesting when you fall off a golf cart in front of Ewan McGregor is you don't think, ow, I've fallen off a golf cart. You think, oh, that was so embarrassing. And I was really only in, I was in pants and tight. I mean, there was nothing good about it. I was, it was pants, tights, and like a robe because the costume was so outrageous that I couldn't put it on until I got to set. I will not cooperate. So I had like the robe over the kind of, and, and I, ugh, and the legs went over and you know, I didn't, it wasn't cool. It wasn't cool. In my head, you were wearing the full headdress, dressed as a raven. I think I probably would have died. <laughs> I, think, I think my neck would have been broken. So it's probably very lucky that I was just in a bathrobe and pants and tights. And I've read somewhere that you were a little disappointed that A, the force isn't real, and B, the lightsabers don't work. They don't work. Yep. There are no lightsabers. Well, I mean, maybe it's different now. I don't know. But ah. like then, all they had was, well, they either had a pole, well, they had just like just the handle. This is my favorite one. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, doing that, Lovely which was kind of quite cool actually, because basically that's what you do when you're a kid anyway, sure. isn't it? I'd like to ask you, what is it like when you're talking to R2D2 in all of this like bird-like paraphernalia? It is to be commended. What is its number? <laughs> yeah. Was there a moment? Did I talk to R2D2? R2D2, Your Highness. Thank you, R2D2. I believe you did. Did I? Mm. Uh -huh. See, this is the problem. I was 12, so, and I'm now very far away from that, so I don't really remember. Padme. I remember that it was sort of like a bin. Mm -hmm. Clean this, draw it up as best you can. It's basically a bin on wheels. It deserves our gratitude. Yeah. That is it. Is it? Is it still? It continues to be. To be a bin They've on wheels. They've made no improvements. Oh. I do. Lazy, really. I mean, they didn't really need to, though. I do. Did they? I mean, well loved. If it ain't broke. But did I just be? Are you sure that was I me and that wasn't Natalie Paul? I'm certain of it. Really? That's amazing that you don't remember. No, I don't remember. It's time for me to move on to the next film. Okay, good. If you can't remember. Hope, hopefully, I'm older than 12. Because maybe I'll remember a little bit more, but maybe not. Well, let's go to Bend It Like Beckham, which I think you remember. I do remember. Play for Hanzo Harry as girl's side. It's close season at the moment, but we've got a summer tournament coming up. You should come along, have a trial. A trial? I was 16. We're now moving from 12 to 16. Mm -hmm. And I did play football at school. So actually, like, that was one of the things that I was super excited okay, about. Because I was like, oh, I've got this. Could you still do one of those football cartwheels when you hit it on the floor and then spin it over your head? Could you no. still give it a shot? No, I, I actually, there was a, a friend of mine had five-a-side football tournament recently. And they were all like, oh, you can do this. I I can't. I mean, I can't. I mean, I'm really embarrassingly, embarrassingly can't. So, no, I didn't keep any of those skills mm. going. I rewatched it for this, and Did the you? She's a Lady remix training montage has to stick in your mind, surely. It is amazing. Is it? The the beat is incredible, the cuts. To She's a Lady, is it? Is it's, it? It's a remix of She's a Lady. Is it? It is extraordinary. She's a lady. Oh, no memory and of you that score, You score goal after goal, and I was thinking, oh, yeah, I was good at that. How, many, how many takes would typically that Do take? Do you know, I actually, my whole thing, my character was meant to be really good at heading the ball, mm -hmm. and so I, that was the major thing that I was practising, and I did it so often that I knocked myself out. So it's possible if you get really, really <laughs> obsessed with heading a ball that you can knock yourself out. Fine. Let's talk about Pirates of the Caribbean because it's a little franchise some people are fond of. Yeah. Not that big a deal. No. Shoot him! Father! Commodore, do you really intend to kill my rescuer? Do you do all of your own falling off a castle rampart work? I'm a bit nervous myself. Oh, yes. I don't know. And then they made me their chief. I don't think so. I don't think they would have let me fall off a rampart, but I'm not sure that anyone fell off the rampart. <laughs> I think maybe that was, was it a CGI? Maybe it wasn't. Again, oh, come on, I was 17. I don't remember. Like, I don't know. I know that I was in the water a lot. Because, mm -hmm. again, I did, like, a lot of my own stunts and that. That line, I'm disinclined to acquiesce to your request. I want you to leave and never come back. <laughs> I'm disinclined to acquiesce to your request. Yes, that's a big line, isn't I it? I just love it. It means no. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on movie sets like that and just think... 
You've got to pinch yourself. This is happening. Yeah. No, I'm on he a galleon. Amazing. You'll be dining with the captain. And he requests you where it is. Well, you may tell the captain that I am disinclined to acquiesce to his request. You know what I remember? Because I have to eat in that scene, don't I? That sounds right. I think I'm eating. And I just remember this disgusting turkey leg that was, like, congealed. Isn't it funny? Like, that's the bits that I remember. The congealed, like, fat on a cold turkey leg that was just like... And, and everyone going, you know, I'm going to be starving because I haven't eaten for ages. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, having to really eat and just being like, this is grim. I've seen quite a few of the bloopers from those movies, and there's a bit where you are trying to catch a cutlass out of thin air. And I assure you our intentions are strictly honourable. Did I fail? You and Jeffrey actually get it wrong. On a number of number occasions. occasions. Yeah. I assure you, our intentions are strictly honourable. Was it just a, a fun blast choosing those films? It felt like it was fun. The first one was super fun. The first one was super fun because nobody thought it was going to do well because everyone was like, "It's based on a theme park ride. This is a disaster." And the second two, like, then there was a lot more pressure on it. Mm. But but I always really, really loved doing all the stunts. I really loved doing all of that, and I loved the whole stunt team on all of those films. Was so amazing. And you get to deliver something that, if I were an actor, I'd love doing, which is a rallying speech. That's my rallying speech, isn't it? Yes. The brethren will still be looking here to us. In that outfit. To the Black Pearl to lead. I love how orange I am. And what will they see? Frightened bilge rats aboard a derelict ship? No. No, they will see free men. I do get a rah. And freedom! Yeah, I like a rallying speech. Oh, Who doesn't? I know you've never particularly warmed to me. No, don't, don't argue. We've never got friendly. But I just wanted to say I hope that can change. I don't think you kill anyone or have an opportunity to hurt yourself in love, actually. That seems to be a, a danger-free no, right. zone. Yes. That movie's legacy continues. I'm imagining when you shot it, you went, it's a silly Christmas film. No, when we shot it, because it was the first time Richard Curtis had directed, and so there was a lot of, there was a lot of hype around it. Ah. Um, and then actually when it came out, it didn't do as well as everybody thought it was going to do, mm -hmm. and particularly not in America. So what's extraordinary about it is that it then, maybe even about five years after it actually came out, really started to build up this whole <sighs> Christmas movie. And in America, it's actually even bigger than yeah. it is here. You know, they're really obsessed by it. Any fashion regrets with that film at all? What with, with... I'm particularly thinking about that hat. Do you know why the hat was there? Tell me. I had a massive spot in the middle of my forehead. This is the problem with being 17 and being in films. I mean, and it was humongous. So there was no choice, but we had to find a hat to cover it because there was no lighting, there was no makeup that was going to cover it. You're going to watch that film in a totally new way now, aren't you? You see, and that's the thing that I really remember because, again, like, it's funny how you just remember mm. extreme embarrassment, isn't it? I remember like coming in in the morning being like, oh, wow, I've got another head on my head. <laughs> And what are we going to do? Like, there's nothing we can do about this. But there is, because you can always put a hat over it. They're all of me. But, you know, I was actually very grateful for that hat. OK, I take it all I back. have I have a lifetime of gratitude God for that hat. that hat. Yeah. Have you come to save us, Clara? Let's jump to the Nutcracker, because... Yes. No. Everyone must be talking to you about this voice. It is a delight. Oh, you met Mother Ginger. It's really nuts. Oh, my dear Clara, you're lucky to be alive. It's Quite. Really nice, It yeah. is so much fun to hear yeah. you say like things like tippity-top. Yeah, I know, I really like that one. There's one bit where you say the word poo in a very old-fashioned way. Yeah. And it's just like the room goes, oh. Yeah, it's total child humour. Here's the chance to play a pink glittery fairy who is so silly, uh -huh. so utterly, completely and utterly ridiculous. Would you like to do that? And I was like, yes, I do want to do that. I want to be as silly as possible and look like a cake. And I do. And your hair is made of candy floss. And my hair is made of candy floss. And I do get... To, do I still eat it because I haven't seen the film you yet? You surely do. I'm so happy with and it. And it's a treat. Yeah, and you seem good. to do it like... It seems to be like a perfect magic trick. You go... Yeah. It was... We had a lady making candy floss there and putting it in the back so I knew exactly where it was and I could just... Oh, like The candy that. floss lady. Yeah. First, the land of flowers. And the only thing that you really know about the Sugar Plum Fairy is that the theme tune, which is a da 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 And I thought, oh, I wonder how I can get that in, so can I laugh it? So it's in the... <laughs> so it started with that, and then I thought, oh, if that's gone up there, then the voice should probably go up. And she's sugary and sweet, and of course, so everything has to be sugary and sweet. And it was just really... It was my chance to be a, pant a pantomime dame. Yes! 
that, that that's was it. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, Kira, it's been uh, a real pleasure. Thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you. Thank um, you very much.